Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we'll be looking at our Game Week 15 wildcard team. So I've put together a team that I'll be very happy to take me through the next few game weeks and also further on into the second half of the season if I was using a wildcard this game week. So before we get into it, please help me out and support the channel by subscribing. I'll be posting a lot of FPR related content in the coming game week so you don't want to miss out on them. Alright, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so I've built this team around a squad value of about 100.5 mil and this is because for most of us we should already have uh, at least this value in our team since many of the players that we have over the course of the season have had you know multiple price rises so I will include other options for you guys later on for those with uh, extra money to spare and want to upgrade certain players I will uh, come up with some alternatives for you guys so in goal we have Ramsdale and Guaita so I've chosen to go with two playing keepers in this template just because we're looking long term here further into the season and we want to be able to let this wildcard last us as long as possible and get as much points as we can. So the plan for this team is to rotate between Ramsdale and Guaita uh, with the fixtures that they have. They rotate really well and they can last us quite far into the next half of the season. So next up in defence we have Target, Trent, Cancelo, James and Lamptey. So the middle three, they're pretty much non-negotiable at this point of the season and we have to have them, if not we just fall really far behind. Uh, so looking at the other two choices, Target and Lamptey, I've chosen to go with Target because he's a really cheap option into the Villa defence and they really look like they have picked up their form after Steven Gerrard came in and you know made some changes and you know firmed up the, firmed up the team. So he's also someone that can get us attacking returns, you know, not just clean sheets because Target does um, bomb, for, bomb forward quite often and he does uh, put in some good crosses. So he's even got a goal in recent times, so definitely not just relying on clean sheet points here. And also same goes for Lamptey. So Brighton's defence this season has been quite impressive and overall um, Lamptey actually plays a right midfield position instead of a defence, uh, instead of a right back. So currently, it is a real bonus to have a defender in FPL actually play as a proper midfielder in, in games. So in midfield, we have Gundogan, Gallagher, Salah, Brownhill and Bowen. So I've chosen to go with Gundogan over Bernardo Silva because he's also on penalties. And honestly, I rate Gundogan as a player. I think he's one to watch in the coming game weeks. He just has that knack of arriving into the box at the right time, being at the right place at the right time and picking up loose balls and just putting the ball into the net. So he's actually gotten quite a few goals in recent weeks, so definitely one to watch in the coming game weeks as well. And next up, Gallagher makes the team as well because he's in really good form, really good set of fixtures that takes us quite deep into the second half of the season. And I know some of us are afraid that he's been sitting deeper in recent games, but with Vieira now playing Kuyate back into the midfield, it kind of gives Gallagher some permission to you know push further forward where he really excelled in the past few game weeks where people started bringing him in. And also, Gallagher is on set pieces, so with the aerial threat of Benteke, Gallagher can possibly get some assists from there as well, so definitely one to watch. And next up, we have Salah, so nothing much to say here because Salah is an absolute must-have and he is non-negotiable. So next up, we have Brownhill. Uh, at 4.4 mil, he is honestly a very good bench option, uh, option just because uh, so far he's played almost every game uh, of the season, so a, a very... Uh, solid option to have on the bench. We can always count on him to, to, to come on. Even if it's just two points, um, honestly, we won't really count on him to, to come on a lot. So it, he's fine to leave him on the bench. So a good option to have. And also Bowen. So I've chosen Bowen uh, for a very particular reason. And this is because he is a key differential in this wildcard template. And West Ham fixtures are picking up uh, very well. Uh, and even in my own team, I, I'm actually going to want to double up on West Ham soon. So for this wildcard team, I've already doubled up on West Ham. So Bowen and Antonio, which we will see later on once we bring in the forwards. So up front, we have Broya, Antonio and Vardy. So Broya is a very good bench option and recently he's been getting more game time. And for 5 mil, honestly, it is a real bargain. And next, Antonio, as I've mentioned, we want to capitalize on... Uh, West Ham's good fixtures coming up and also uh, for Vardy, he has an awesome run coming up and honestly, I think his appeal right now is just too great uh, to choose anyone else over him plus his price range is really good for upgrading to Lukaku or Ronaldo in the future when we have the funds. So, you know, depending on how things pan out, we can actually have some versatility uh, in, in, in this team as well. 
So lastly, for those with extra money in the bank, here are my proposed transfers for you guys, uh, or proposed upgrades. So if you have an extra 0.5 mil, I'd bring in Regulon for Target. Extra 1 mil, I'd bring in Alonso for Target, or Madison for Gallagher. And with an extra 2 mil, I'd swap out Brownhill for Smith Row, uh, which we can rotate very nicely with Gallagher because we know Arsenal and Crystal Palace's fixtures rotate very nicely. And also some, uh, something that we can consider with an extra 2 mil is to swap out Vardy and bring in Kane. But for this move, I think it does not need to be rushed. You can keep that extra 2 mil in the bank and wait and see how Spurs perform in the next few games. So that's all for this video guys. I hope it was useful for you. And before you leave, please help me out and give this video a like. And also hit that subscribe button to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.